In natural history, all human beings are classified as belonging to the order of mammals. The primates, which include apes and monkeys, also belong to this order and are the highest type of mammal with the exception of man. Here is the gorilla which belongs to the family of anthropoid apes. The gorilla which lives in West Africa is the largest of these apes growing to a height of about six feet and weighing nearly 500 pounds. Though feared more by the natives than any of his forest companions, the gorilla is normally of a gentle disposition unless aroused. This four-year-old has made friends with a pet terrier. The chimpanzee, a smaller variety of ape, also comes from Africa. This beast is found in a more extensive area than the gorilla and is about one-third smaller. In facial structure, the chimpanzee resembles man more than the gorilla does. Both apes have blackish hair, but the chimpanzee has shorter arms and longer, slenderer hands and feet. The chimpanzee is capable of accepting, refusing, and thanking with three different and distinct sounds. Here is a chimpanzee that has been trained to skate. The intelligence of a chimpanzee is compared to that of a small child and is far higher than any other non-human. Here he shows rather unusual ability in sewing. The chimpanzee picks up bad habits too, but he seems to enjoy it. Notice how he respects the match. The chimpanzee also can be trained to entertain. He does such things as remove his own shoes about as well as you did when you were three. The third kind of ape is the orangutan, which means man of the woods. Clad in brownish hair, it is found in Sumatra and Borneo. The orang travels in families and lives on leaves, buds, and fruits. It has a flattened oval face and a skull that almost comes to a point. Excessively long hands and feet are assets for climbing in which this type of ape excels. You may notice that the thumb is undeveloped. The orang shows poor dexterity in handling this piece of wood. Here are the chimpanzee and orang together. The orang has longer arms and shorter legs. Compared to the gorilla, the orangutan is a much smaller beast. But an orang is much more playful and friendly. Just imagine the keeper doing this to a gorilla, but the orang seems to enjoy it immensely. Like a child, the orang enjoys playing in the sand. Notice he uses hands and feet interchangeably. Whoopee! Here, he arrays himself in a scarf. He has not been taught to do this, or this either. And here we see him without previous assistance learning the principle of the lever. He seems to exercise almost human intelligence. Now, we wouldn't exactly say he can read, but the pictures evidently are interesting. See how he uses his mouth to aid in turning the pages.
Here, he's getting his vitamins. Whoops all over him. So, he wipes his face just as your baby brother does. The fourth kind of ape, the gibbon, comes from the Malay Peninsula. Small and light with extremely long arms, it is the only ape accustomed to walking upright. Although the gibbon bears most resemblance to man, it is the lowest type of ape. It has a delicate constitution, however, when caught young, can be tamed easily. It is far more nimble than the larger apes. This ape is the closest connection to its cousins in the New World, the monkeys. So we have seen the four major types of anthropoid apes that inhabit the old world. The gorilla, the chimpanzee, the orangutan, and the gibbon. Now, let us see how they resemble their new world relatives. The new world or American monkey often is distinguished by its tail, which serves as an other arm and is therefore called prehensile. This is a spider monkey. Besides having a prehensile tail, it can also be recognized by its lack of thumbs. The spider monkey is so called because of its spider-like limbs. The woolly monkey, cousin to the spider monkey, inhabits the Guianas. It is heavier than its cousin, so the natives call it Baragudo, which means big-bellied. Gentle and confiding in nature, the woolly monkey makes a good pet. The monkey lives mainly on fruits. It, in turn, is also considered good eating by the natives. It spends most of its life in the treetops, rarely descending to the ground. It is noted for grave manners, and it is extremely mild in temperament. We have seen a few examples of anthropoid apes and New World monkeys which are included in the order of primates. These animals, all inhabitants of primeval jungle areas, are a source of never-ending interest because of their close resemblance to the human beings.